Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Manicraft with Black Dog Z. Alright, so I do want to apologize for the lack of episodes the last little while. Um, I've been having a problem with my voice on and off for the last little bit, as I've been explaining, and so I haven't been able to record. Now today, we're going to be working on something a little different. First of all, when I was talking, you'll notice I walked into another room. This is actually completely made out of reinforced stone. And it's got a little drop off here that leads into our basement. So, most of that's reinforced stone. Once you get to here, it's no longer reinforced stone. That's not an issue. All right, so this entire building's too thick, reinforced stone. Very pretty. Um, and the door ended up being right there. I wasn't planning on it being right there, but it seems to work out. Um, so that changes the look of our house a little bit. And I kind of want to backfill in this portion right here. Um, just because it's not currently being used. But, that's not what we're going to do today. Today, we're going to go hunting. So, I'm going to use a four string, a slime ball, and a piece of leather. And get a safari net. Now, if I remember correctly, you should just be able to right click on a creature. And use the safari net. Now, there's actually a specific creature I'm looking for. He's right over here. Hello, slime. Alright, got our slime. As you can see, it's still pretty dangerous outside here. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys this room either. This is a new room that I built. Hop over that. This room here is a little neat. So, as you can see, it doesn't look like it has a roof. It actually does. It's all clear glass roof. Uh, the reason for that is because I needed to open it to the sky. Uh, clear gas, still clear glass, still counts as being open to the sky, as far as I'm aware, meaning that I can do bees in here. I've also got a neat little trick here. I decided to actually rig up the lights, they actually turn on and off, as you can see. So all these lights are rigged together using redstone, and uh, it's very complicated down there. But and I'm not quite finished. You see, I still have a little bit of dirt here that I need to get rid of. But, it's a real simple system, and uh, as you can see, underneath the lights to turn them on and off. And let's see if we can get in there and just kind of show you what's going on. In theory, I don't want to use that. If I just use my hand, do it right there. It's around here somewhere. There it is. So as you can see, we use some red wire, some red stone, and it's just running all over the place, connecting everything together. Um, these guys on the walls all have a torch below them using the reverse latch. Uh, it's all vanilla, technically. Um, so it's real simple to build. Anybody who knows how to use vanilla redstone can build this, but it just allows me to have nice, bright area. I can turn it off technically and allow things to spawn if I want to fight which is kind of nice turn it back on nothing will spawn and I don't have to worry about it so this here is actually going to be our B room I just wanted to do a proof of concept with the lights um, so there we go that is done these lights here just always stay on um, I never bothered wiring them up so that's the basic idea if you come fly back here you'll see we have our giant room here huge but that's all right and it's right along the chunk Ooh, look at that got some flesh and uh, brain it's right along the chunk boundaries now the downside here is that technically guys can walk across here and they can fall into here heck if they do it right they can technically get into my area I'll be fixing that soon I just got to put up a, uh, a barricade basically right along here and I'll be doing that. I just haven't done it yet. So far, nothing's figured out how to get in. That doesn't mean that it can't. Alright, so we got our single-use safari net. Now, I don't know if you guys know what safari nets are for, but they're kind of neat. So we're just going to toss that in there. So in between where we were and uh, where we are now, I haven't built much. I built this canner. 
The reason I built a canner was so that I could uh, create the, um, the stuff I needed for this stuff here. Because this stuff here is not exactly easy to make. Um, maybe I will show you in an episode or two when I go to add some more on, because I am putting more on that. Uh, we did build a second semi-fluid generator, just so we could keep the power up to use the thermal centrifuge. The thermal centrifuge does allow me to basically um, collect materials less often. Because if I, if I use iron in there, I get gold. If I use gold in there, I get iron. Allowing me to have more resources, more iron, more gold, without actually having to go mine. And if you take a look at this chest here, we've got tons to use. So it's going to be a while before we have to go mine again, which is kind of nice. Um, as far as our base has been running, you'll take a look downstairs. You'll see a whole bunch of fil filled tanks. Biomass full. Ethanol full. This system's running very nicely. 3,500 that. 14 that. So it's not running when I'm not on. We'll have to get some more of this fertilizer here soon. But, uh, it does run quite nicely, and I've been quite happy with it. Um, the reason it doesn't run when we're not on is because our chunk loader, which currently is 11 and a half hours on it, is not currently being used. Now, if I do need an area chunk loaded for a bit, I will turn it on, and this area here will be chunk loaded. Alright. So, back upstairs to show you what we wanted that safari net for. So, a safari net has a very particular purpose, and if I bring up, I think it's factorization... Um, mod factorization. Uh, nope, maybe not. No, it's not factorization. It's uh, I cannot remember anymore. Hmm. Why can't I remember the name of this mod? Bibliocraft. No, no, no. Chicken chunks. Den pipe. Center storage. Enhanced for utilities. I always thought it was factorization. But it's not. Factorization brings us some beautiful things. But not that. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out. Because it's definitely not listed here. Ah, uh, here it is. Mine factory reloaded. So if I just do that. So mine factory reloaded is the one that brought us a safari net. It also brought us a whole bunch of other things. Um, but specifically what I want. Is I want... Try to find it here. The auto spawner. So the plan is to build an auto spawner. <coughs> I have mostly everything. I can make sugar. I can make nether wart. I can make magma cream. Plastic sheets are easy enough. Emeralds are going to be where it's difficult. As you can see, I currently have no emeralds. So... That is definitely something I'm going to need to find between this episode and next, is emeralds. Why don't we go ahead and get everything else ready? Where can we put this? We'll put this in there for now. Um, so, in order to make this, we need to make sugar. So, how do we make sugar? Well, to make sugar, which is a vanilla recipe, we'll head up to our farm here. Should be this guy right here. I'll we'll grab that sugar cane. Making sugar is fairly simple. Bam, you have sugar. Ta-da! And you can make a whole bunch of sugar, but I only want one. Alright, so. Next we need one of these. That's three stone, three sets of plastic sheets. Now, I do have...
that stuff. And I believe I might actually have some plastic sheets already. Yep, there's some plastic sheets. Alright. So now, we go three plastic sheets and three stone. Gets us our factory machine block. So we have this. We have this. We'll grab our nether wart. Bam. Magma cream. Slime ball blaze powder. Alright. Slime ball. Blaze rod. Do I have any blaze powder? Oh wait, I've already got magma creams. Let me put those back. No point in wasting. Alright, we got magma cream. Next up we need three more sheets of plastic. That's simple enough. Blink. Okay. So now we just need our two emeralds. Now to get emeralds is going to be fairly difficult. We're going to need a hills biome in order to get emeralds. Now I know where there's a hills biome, but emeralds aren't exactly easy to find. So I'm going to have to find a villager to trade with. And what I think I might do is actually build a few more of these nets. And steal the villagers. So, we'll go like this. Alright, I got a few more nets so we can steal some villagers. And we're just going to take this stuff and we're going to put the stuff we don't need in here. So we don't need any of this stuff right now. We do need those. I thought I had plastic. Okay. That's alright. I guess I don't need this either. Okay, so we're going to have to go out and find some villagers. Now, unfortunately... Finding villagers is going to take some time because there's just no other way around it. You got to find the town. You got to take your peoples. So, the first things first here. We'll verify everything is good to go. Now, while we're gone, we want our system to continue manufacturing. I'm actually going to go downstairs and put out the chunk loader. Um, the hell? Okay, so I was just being a little awkward. It does have 11 and a half hours on it. So we'll be able to venture out and see if we can find ourselves a, uh... No, hang on. Isn't there a de-zombification? Golden apple. The syringe. You know, that might be the way to go. It's just to de-zombify some guys. Hmm. I have apples. Some theory of my apple juice is full. My apple juice is not full. I just need a single apple. Damn it. Uh, 
All right. In order to get an apple, looks like we're going to have to cheat. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. That should tell it not to export apples anymore. Yay, an apple. I want a couple of apples. Need three of them. So, there's another apple. And there's another apple. Alright. So we go back in here. And we tell it it can export apples again. Alright, so... Now I'm going to need... Um, gold. Eight. Sixteen. Twenty-four gold. This isn't cheap, but it should hopefully do what I need. Alright, this will be easier than trying to find a... Uh, a villager. Four sheets, a piece of iron, and a piece of rubber. You need three pieces of iron. I wonder why that keeps happening. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have that, we have that. We just need rubber. Three pieces. Alright, so now the trick here is going to be getting ourselves some villagers. So we get ourselves a couple of syringes, a couple of golden apples. Now we're looking for particular zombies. They have to be villager zombies. Just gonna turn that off. See if we can find ourselves some villager zombies. Usually I don't have an issue finding zombies. Just run around. Hopefully they spawn soon. like a house or something over here. Oh no, that's not a house. Hello chicken. Okay, so we're still looking for him. Nothing is spawning, which is very odd. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh no. Couple of skeletons. I need zombies. It's like Minecraft knows exactly what you're looking for and won't let you have that spawn. Whenever I'm looking for Enderman, never see Enderman. Looking for a zombie, can't find a zombie. 
anywhere. You really don't think it would be that hard to find a zombie. Walking through the woods at night, which is supposed to be one of the more common spawns. Nope. They have to be villager zombies. Alright guys, it does not look like we are going to find a villager zombie tonight. Hello creeper. Goodbye creeper. Which makes me kind of sad. Because I wanted villagers. But these de-zombification syringes, some firing nets, also I could get some villagers. It's not like I'm doing this the easy way. Hello, cow. There's a spider and a creeper chasing me. I don't know why it's not hitting them sooner. Alright, I need to eat. Of course, you know, I never thought to look at my mini-map. My mini-map will tell me where there are zombies. wonder what happens if I use a de-zombification on a regular zombie. Ooh, what do we find here? Silver bell. I can go back. I'm confused. I think it did actually go back. I hear him, but I don't see him. Must be underground. Oh well, it's daytime now, and that's an angry zombie anyway. So that's not going to help us. As you can see, by the end of this episode, I am already losing my voice. Um, so the episodes are going to be kind of sporadic for the next little bit. Well, the doctors figure out why this is happening. Uh, I will continue to post episodes whenever possible, uh, but cannot guarantee when that will be. Um, so please stay tuned for more episodes of Manicraft, and don't worry, I won't do anything major without you. Have a good